Hello and welcome to Int2 and Higher Computing, Lesson 1, Positive and Negative Integers. This is a diagram representing all of the keywords that you will come across in, the, in this entire section. Description is obviously a key part, along with key terms such as storage terms and mantissa and various other terms. These are words that you should feel comfortable with by the end of the unit. Lesson, lesson aims. By the end of this lesson, if you are studying at int2, you should be expected to represent positive integers in binary using up to 8 bits, state up to 3 advantages of the binary number system. If you are studying at higher level, you should be expected to do all of the int2 level outcomes, plus represent positive integers up to 32 bits, and also describe and use the 2 complement system to represent negative numbers. The decimal and binary system. We use a decimal or base 10 system. That means there are 10 possible digits, 0 to 9. Is this because of 10 fingers? Possibly. However, computers use a binary or base 2 system. This means that there are only two digits that any computer can deal with. These are 0 and 1, standing for off and on. Each figure is known as a bit, and a bit stands for binary digit. So again, off and on. That is also why you might see it on some power switches. So let's look how a decimal number is made up. So going back to primary school, if you look at 173, you can break it down to hundreds, tens and units. Technically this is because 10 to the power of 0 is 1, which corresponds with that. 10 to the power of 1 is 10, which would correspond with that. And 10 to the power of 2 is 100, which would correspond with the 100's placeholder. Now obviously this increases by a factor of 10 if we carried on go going up upwards in value. These are the placeholder values you will look at there. So what we do is, can we subtract 128 from 173? Yes. So what we do is our first binary digit is a 1. And then we actually subtract 128 from 173. Now this leaves us with 45. Can you subtract 64 from 45? No. So the decimal number remains unchanged. Our second binary digit is a 0. So, so far we have 1, 0. Can we subtract 32 from 45? Yes. So our next binary digit is a 1. And we actually subtract 32 from 45, leaving us with 13. Can you subtract 16 from 13? No, so our next binary digit is a 0, which is reflected here. And then we repeat this until we are left with, can we, we are left with this binary of 1, can we take that away from 1? That leaves us with 0, and our binary digit is from top to bottom, so it's 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. You'll notice that we usually write them in groups of 4 bits. A group of four bits is known as a nibble. How to convert a decimal number from binary? Now the easiest way to do this is to create your table with the place values in top and enter your binary number in beneath it. Now what you do now is you add the place values that have a binary one. So if you've got a one, we know there's going to be a 64 in the number, a 32, there's no 16s, there's no 8s, there's a 4, and there's a 2. So what we do is we add these up here, so 64 plus 32 is 96, plus 4 is 100, plus 2 is 102. So that 8-bit binary number is in fact 102. There are advantages to the binary system, although it can be more confusing for humans. There are less rules of arithmetic. Less rules of arithmetic leads to less complex programming, leads to less memory over overhead, so it makes processors, etc., easier to actually implement and program. Zero, zeros and ones are easier to represent digitally in computer assessive systems. Electric charges are either there or they are not. They can also use magnetic fields. Any drop in voltage does not affect the data. What this means is if you are listening to a voice recording, if certain bits of the sound get very low, that does impede your actual understanding of it. However, with binary, any charge there signifies that there is a 1. 
if there's absolutely nothing then it's a zero so any slight dip in voltage from say 12 volts down to 8 volts inside a uh, computer wouldn't have had any actual long-term implications summarize for int twos you're expected to know that binary only has two values which are zero and one a single zero or one inside a computer system is known as a bit bit standing for binary digit the place values in binary start on the right at 1 and double every time going to the left. You are expected to be comfortable up to and including 8 bits. This means the largest number you can represent decimally is 255. You also have to know the three advantages of using the binary system. 1. There are less rules of arithmetic. 2. Zeros and 1s are easier to represent. And 3. Any drop in voltage does not affect the data. Now, if you are studying, we need to move on to the next one. At the minute, we have a problem. We do know how to store positive numbers, but to store negative numbers, we actually need to use a different system. The system we're going to use is called the twos complement system. So how to actually use the twos complement system? To create a negative version of a number, so such as minus nine, the higher we will only deal with int integers. Okay, we will not ask you to represent minus real numbers. There are three steps. First of all, you create the positive number in binary. So again, we're using two nibbles to represent an eight, but an eight bit number. At higher, you're only expected to deal up to and including eight bits for two's complement. You invert all the zeros to ones and all the ones to zeros. This means that all the zeros become ones and all the ones become zeros. Then what you do is you add one to the right of the number. So over here, okay, what you're doing is you're adding a 1 to the right hand side, so 0 plus 1 equals this 1 here. You need to remember that if the, uh, there is already a 1 on the right hand side, 1 plus 1 equals 0. Okay, you then have to carry the 1 to the left hand side. Here's another example. So let's try to represent the number minus 130. So the first thing you do is you get the positive representation of the number, which is that. The next step is you invert all the zeros to ones and all the ones to zeros, which means we have 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. And you add a 1 to the right of the number. Now you'll notice at this point there is actually already a 1 there. So when we add this 1 here, you will see that 1 plus 1 in binary actually equals 1, 0. Because 1 plus 1 is 0 and carry the one to the left. You would keep on carrying it over to the left if you needed to. So does it work? To test it works, simply add a negative number and a number to check. So using our example from earlier, if we use minus nine, which was represented a few, a few seconds ago, and the number 12. Minus nine plus 12 should equal three. So that's the representation of minus nine plus 12 and what you will see is that 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry your 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry your 1 again. You'll notice that this 1 is constantly getting carried over, carried over and carried over. Because we only deal with 8 bit numbers, any carryover that's left in the ninth bit just gets disregarded and that is the binary version for 3. The largest negative number we can represent using this notation is minus 127. If you're, if you're given a negative number, i.e. one that is already in two's complement, and you wish to find out what the, what the value actually is, simply carry out the same steps again. So if you start off with minus 9, invert it again, it should give us this, and add one to the right hand side. Now that is the positive version which is one and no twos, no fours, no eights, so one plus eight is nine. So that uh, so this is minus nine. So summary it higher. Two's complement is a system to represent negative integers. You create the positive version of the number in binary, you invert all the zeros to ones and the ones to zeros. You add one to the right hand side, remembering that one plus one is one and a zero, so you may need to carry the one over if necessary. And the range of negative numbers that can be represented using an 8-bit twos complement system is minus one down to minus 127. And that covers